tool family welcome back to my channel um, I know this is a really strange place for me to start my video I'm still doing the legacy challenge with Sophia Gardner but I have some surprises in here and I just didn't want to show you guys just yet so I'm gonna start off with um, apologizing for getting this video out so late um, but I was under the weather so I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, as I've stated in some of my earlier videos, people don't get why Floridians get sick so often, but the change in weather is so drastic. Like one day it's hot and the next day it's like, you know, down in the fifties and I live on a peninsula. So I have water, I mean, yeah, water on all three sides and then the wind that comes off of the water. So it's crazy. So yeah feeling a lot better and um, I want to go ahead and do more on Legacy Challenge because I do have university but I did not want to start until I had gotten more of this um, Legacy Challenge done so um, that's where I am so after this video I'm probably going to do a tutorial because a couple of people have asked me how I uploaded my own artwork into my game so I'm gonna show you guys that and it's really simple and then after that I'll probably um, do a sim in college will be university life and see how I like it from watching everybody else play I don't I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not um, it was, it's kind of like um, the jungle pack for me I thought it was gonna be something that it wasn't so I'm not sure I think with anything that um, the makers of Sims puts out, it's all in what we make of it. So, um, yeah, so we'll see. But I would like to know for anyone else that has it, how you like it so far. Or if you're not going to get it, like what made you not decide to get the university pack. So, as I said, we are back with uh, Sophia Gardner and she has had the baby. I'm gonna actually uh, put in a little clip later on showing the birth of her child and why I was so shocked. <laughs> but um, not only does she have a, a new baby, but she also has a new partner in life. And um, it happened really organic. Um, it was from a person that I have known to be um, kind of standoffish except for with the people that they hang with but they were at um, an event it was one of the events that you get in Sims where you can get points and they just started talking it was crazy so they kind of hit it off and I just said okay let's just let it do what it do so um, I'm gonna let me change this to afternoon because I think the lighting is better. Her partner has uh, experience in um, athletics and, uh, you know, kind of doing the whole health thing. So I have the mod that allows you to have uh, the live in, um, the live in, what is it, business. So they are going to try their hand at having an in-home gym and they're going to do some like yoga classes too. Well, it won't be Sophia because as you guys know, she's more with the gardening and the herbalism, but um, her new person, um, let me see something. Okay, yeah, because if I, there's something on the wall that would kind of give, give a little hint as to who our person might be, so I just wanted to make sure it wasn't showing. But um, I did this all from scratch, so I'll probably be changing it as I can do better things. Like, I know in the university pack, they now have, um, let me see, can I show this? Yeah, they now have stalls. So I might change these from little private rooms to stalls for the bathroom and the sink, um, for the toilet and the sink, I'm sorry. I don't know we'll see but um I didn't make it really cluttered because I, I just hate that 
I hate houses and rooms that are so cluttered in and um sims it's like they just place everything in there and I don't even like that in my own house I just like you know the necessities of course some decorative items but not stuff that's like you know makes people think you're a hoarder so um yeah so we'll see how this works out um and I mean they have both been grinding so I put in a master suite um here's their bedroom they haven't even slept in it yet that's how new it is and here's their bathroom so um, yeah I like it and here's the baby's room it's all set up for the baby to become a toddler and their birthday is actually tomorrow, uh, Sim World tomorrow. So I'm gonna stay on this and show you guys the baby aging up. Um, I did find some cute little decals for the wall. Did I put? No, I didn't. I didn't change that. Uh, okay. Well, I'll. Yeah, I changed their room. What was I thinking? I guess I didn't save it. Oh well. But yeah, I found some cute little decals. So I'm going to end up changing the baby's wall. And then right here, I want to talk about this. I have the doors locked to where, like this door and also this door here, only family members can enter uh, through these. So, because you know people in Sims, they'll be all in your, in your house. <laughs> so I made sure that only family could do that. And here's the kitchen that I added on. Um, they plan on doing a lot of entertaining because, hey, they have to get clients. So um, in the kitchen, I just added on a room from the, um, it's one of the rooms that comes together, all put together. And I just um, took away some things I didn't want and added a few things. Here's their dining room. I really like this. Again, it's another room that was created uh, by the Sims team. And I just added some stuff. Took, I took some stuff away. I haven't added anything yet, but I will. Because I'm going to make a doorway because out here, I'm going to end up taking away the, the garden here. And because I'm going to make, well, I'm going to make this more like a, a nice serene sitting area for their clients that come in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and put the garden back here someplace. Let me, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, cause I have a lot of land, so I got to utilize it. And let's see if anything, I'm trying to hide. Let's see who will you see first? Let me see. Okay, I see Sophia. So, trying to hide the kid. So, there's Sophia. Um, she's pretty tired. I mean, those newborns keep you up. So, but she's doing really well, making a ton of money. And the money has been so good with her making things and selling them. And uh, with the career change that she did with doing the digital. Um, art stuff so she's making good money um her partner has a job as well so it's coming in and you know i have them hustling and every time they build up enough like right now i got twelve thousand all over that and i add on another room or get something that i've wanted to do but it's been a process but it's not as hard as i would i would, thought it would be so i'll probably not probably not use the money cheats as much anymore because it was kind of fun building everything up. So right here now, um, before I show you guys the baby, I'm going to go ahead and slip in a clip of Sophia having the baby so we can go ahead and talk about that. So here's the clip.
Okay. So now that you guys saw Silas come into the world, let me show you little Silas. He is as white as that snow outside. So we know that Dominic is definitely not the baby's daddy. I mean, I know how genetics work and whatever, but I've never seen like um, a child that were born from two, uh, two black Sims like come out this light. So I, I'm thinking that uh, that guy is he because I, I told you I thought he only liked boys or I don't know what I thought but maybe it's his kid I don't know but we're gonna watch this I'm gonna do some gameplay and we can find out together I know I have um the thing set for child support let me make sure oh crap I can't do it in this mode um well you know what, let me go ahead and show you who her new partner is. They have not gotten married yet, but they're going to. They're just getting some things with the house straight and getting the partner's clientele up. I got to figure out how that's done because I've never done that before with a living business. Oh, yes, I did. I did it with a bakery. And the crazy thing was somebody kept stealing from me, but I could never catch them. You know what? I should have had um, extreme violence activated. You had to caught them then. Dang, I didn't think about that. So I don't know what they could steal out of an in-home, you know, uh, gym slash yoga studio, but we'll see. So I bet you guys will never guess who she's with. You'll never guess. You'll never guess. But, ta-da! Remember, darling, I just did a video where I updated her, so um, I'll put that link here where I updated her look. But yeah, like, am I the only one that thought she was kind of standoffish? Like, I don't think you ever saw her with anybody. Um, I think most people had to force her with a, a mate or something like that, because she's non-flirty, I believe, something like that. But yep. Yeah, that's who she's with, um, and I changed her name from Darling just to D, because, I mean, she probably hates that name anyway, but she's bonding with the baby, and, you know, baby's doing fairly well, so right now the way that I left off is, this is, let me just go ahead and see. It's um, New Year's, so they're trying to get all their, yeah, New Year's Eve, they're getting all their perks in. Uh-oh. All my things popped up. Hmm, let's see. What's she doing? Okay. So she's taking a nap. The baby seems fine. Um, okay, Wicked Wims, tell them my business. So, it looks like they both are pretty good with, who's this calling? Who's this? Look at Dominic. See, I heard you and Dee Walsh are good friends. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. You are out of the picture, boy. Find out what your wife is doing. That's what you do. I'm sorry, guys. I have my retainer in my mouth. Okay, who's calling now? Really? This says it's it. Uh, yeah, I ain't going nowhere. I got a family now. Well, Sophia has a family, not me. Well, I have a family too, but you know what I mean. <sighs> Sophia up. Never feed the baby. Darling's almost done. Where's she going? Girl, I told you to feed the baby. Where are you going? Sometimes Sims do the craziest things. So this was their old bedroom. I'm going to figure out what to do with that. Maybe I'll make it into an office. Um... 
So the baby's back to sleep. Hopefully Dominic doesn't come around. Yeah, but he's been coming around like like he owns the place. You got a whole ass wife, man. Why are you coming here? Okay, so as soon as they... Oh gosh, she's hungry. Please don't leave. I need you to get these points. Look, he just won't stop. I mean, don't y'all know people like that? You've moved on, and they just won't quit? <laughs> okay. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. Oh, they're giving each other a hug. Congratulations. Okay, so I'm going to have her go and eat. She's starving. the serving and I'm so curious about this baby where's she going why is she going back here oh you know what I can't have this fridge thing here see that's the, the pride flag I didn't want you guys to see that because I figured you would kind of guess as to who she was with, maybe. So I'm going to get rid of that. I thought it would be great to have that fridge back there. Let's see, I'm going to have D to cuddle, talk to the baby, and cuddle him so they can become more acquainted. And then I'm going to age him up because I am dying to know who his dad is. Okay, come on. Okay, let's go ahead and age him up now. Let's see. More choices. Age up. Let's see who his dad is. What he's going to look like. Okay, let's see. Pick a trait. Uh, I really want to do like science next time with someone in our family. So I'll just make him inquisitive. Okay, let's see. He's got brown hair, reddish. Who do I know that? I, I'm trying to guess if I can see if I can guess who the. Yeah, I can't tell. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to click on Silas here and go to his little genealogy thing. How does that happen? Oh, here it is. Okay. And his dad is... Okay. Who the hell? Oh, my God. 